All right, <laughs> enough fucking around. So let's talk about it. So you don't know what the fuck we're talking about, huh? We're going to talk about people in a way of how we live. We live in a fucked up backwards society, y'all. We live in a world where we, we live in a world we worship hatred instead of love and peace. And there's a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of us is trying to make it right. You no, know, want that peace, want that love, want that unity. And there's not there's not a lot of people that's willing to give it up, but they want to show peace and love towards their own way. But their way is with money. Like you can't show a, a brother peace, love with money, dude. I can understand if you're giving it to a brother that really needs it, then yeah. But the thing about it is, when was the last time that you actually kick it with a person without without you saying the M word to a person, the money word to a person? When was the last time that you got pussy and you didn't have to pay for it? And I'm not talking about y'all that are in relationships. And um, I'm not talking about y'all. So if you're in a relationship, you better have a good time. Because I'm jealous right now. Because I don't got nobody. <laughs> but but um, what I'm trying to say is, dude, we live in this cold, fucked up society where we say we care for one another when we really don't. And we say we're there for her friends and family, and we're really not. And then, unlike most people, I'm not going to mention no names. They will lie and say that they never got their ass kicked, knowing that I know that he did. But that's all the world is. Why is the world so cold? Because we depend on living backwards. We actually depend on living backwards that's going to save us. Like, we can't live backwards and try to worship God and thinking, like, everything's going to be okay. Dude, if you worship God, my nigga, you, you, you got to be positive all the time. You got to stay positive because God don't want no type of negativity. And if you are going to live by negativity, then you might as well worship the devil. Because you can't have it both ways. You can't call yourself a man of God, turn around and say word on the street is. Same thing for y'all women. You can't be a woman of a God and say, that's gossip. Because that's backwards, dude. The way how we live is so fucking backwards. It's a damn fucking shame. You can't call yourself a man or a woman of God and you talk about money, 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 money. What the fuck is wrong with y'all people? Yes, we all need money. All of us. But we should not let, let it get to our heads. Why we let it get to our heads? Because everybody wants that rich life. Everyone be kings. Everybody wants to live fancy. What's the whole fucking point of living fancy? And you want... You want to be that person that say money is everything, but material thing doesn't mean shit. You can't be that type of person, dude. I can understand if you're giving shit away, then give it away. Be a, be a better role model than some of these other cats out here. Be a better person than some of these other cats out here. I would like to see the young, young people be better than me. Better than some of these other YouTube reactors. Better than some of these doctors that's killing us. Better than some of these police that's killing us and arresting us. We need more people to do more positive in this world. And it's not enough positive. Because we all depend on hatred. That's why this world is so fucking cold. You know, I've been living 
I've been living very depressed for the like, like the last few years, y'all. Like really in depressed, like seeing the world in black and white. And I learned that the more time you look at the world in black and white, you're not gonna get nowhere. You're looking at the world through the devil's eyes. But there's nobody there because everybody's cold hearted and everybody's mad. Everybody's jealous. Everybody's hateful. But I learned that when you look at the world in color, everybody's happy. You see sadness. You see tears. You see people rejoicing. You know, you see people do better. And that's how, and that's how we're supposed to do. This is what we're supposed to live by. We're supposed to live by looking at the world in color to rejoice every day just to stay positive to be a better role model to teach these little kids how to be role models we're not supposed to be teaching them how to be gangster we're not supposed to teach these kids how to sell crack or dope we post them teach them how to make their money yeah but not like that you know, we're not supposed to go up to fucking hospitals and and in all these other places and shoot it up. We're not supposed to live like that, but there's a whole bunch of people that they want that action. They want that thrill. They want that drama. They want to see people suffer. They want to see people make that sacrifice. But what's the whole point? Like, what is the whole point? You know, it's a cold world, y'all. <laughs> it's a cold-ass world that we live in. But the only way we can make it better if we start showing people that we can be more positive. It start showing people that being positive is being positive. We can't be positive and be negative. Or we can't be negative and be positive. Or with every way you prefer how to live. Positive go with positive. That's about it. You know, I know it's hard in the streets. Hold on. I know it's hard on the block sometimes. But you can actually make it without trying to go into crime. Dude, like... The last time I've been in jail... It was over police brutality. But to remind you... I did not fight these dudes at all. Cause I want to get the story, this little story cleared up right now. I did not fight these dudes. These motherfuckers came up to me. Even at the age 18, 17, I'm still a child, bro. I'm still a fucking child. Y'all two grown ass men, black and Mexican. And y'all walk up to an innocent black boy. Y'all sock them in the jaw, do all this other shit, do some gay shit, and touch a nigga dick and nuts and shit, and then throw a nigga in the back seat. That's not positive. Nigga, that's negative, grimy, and gay as fuck. And I don't even swing that way, bro. <laughs> but um, I just, I, just, I just try to make this clear, though. I'm just trying to make this clear. I, you know, I did laugh, but... I do got a funny bone, and I do laugh at a lot of jokes, so. But it was just the whole point for me was, nigga, I did not deserve that. Because what they did was, this is the fucked up part of what they did, though. And show you why this world is cold. These motherfuckers stalked me in my jaw. Took me to the hospital to avoid a lawsuit. Just to avoid a fucking lawsuit. And then they just go ahead and, 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 and take me to jail. Dude, if you know you was going to take me to the fucking hospital, you must, you must well just, just let me go from right then and there to avoid the lawsuit. But these motherfuckers in this world, they don't care. But see, it's not just the policemen, because we, we also got good cops, too. We got good gangbangers out there, too. But it just, we don't got that many superheroes. Because everybody wants to be a villain. And that's what it lead up to. That's why this world is so cold. Because everybody wants to play the role of a villain. But nobody that wants to play the role of a hero. Nobody. 
Everybody want to laugh at other people's misery, to laugh at other people's suffering, to laugh at other people's struggle. But these supposed to be so-called real niggas. You ain't no real nigga for that. You a fake ass nigga. To judge another man, point blank period, you a fake nigga. To hate on another man because he's doing better than you, then you a fake ass nigga. Real niggas show love and support. Real niggas is always going to be by your side and they want you to do better. Real niggas want to see you happy and see you succeed and, 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 and see you become successful. That's the sign of a real nigga when they say they want to see you be successful. I'm on my way of being successful, but it may be a long time. But I don't care how long it takes. I'm living my life and I'm happy by being me. By showing people the positive side of me. You know, they don't like some of the rappers that I listen to or the, you know, you know how we listen to our headphones and we rap in the same words, you know. Some motherfuckers may not like some of the songs I, I, I may, you know, do like that, but I don't care. Y'all not me and I'm not you. I'm happy by being me. Because I can get any bitch I want, eat any pussy I want. <laughs> I got a good job, and I got a check, two checks, or whatever you want to call it, but I'm getting paid either way it goes. You know, I get the first, the dirt, and some other checks, <laughs> but I'm happy about being me. You know, I really don't get no money at all or get paid that much, but I still try to, you know, save my money. Why? Cause, dude, I want to be successful. I'm not going to live the rest of my life, bro. But hell, even if I do, I'd rather be a happy-ass motherfucker than to be an ungrateful rich nigga. And that's just me being me. Because me, I love everybody. I love making everybody laugh. That's always been my thing. I always love to make people laugh. I always love video games and the anime. That's me. I fell in love with hip hop when I was a kid, and now, now I'm, I'm I'm rapping. I may be doing freestyle, but at least I'm rapping. I could only be me, just like all my subscribers. You could only be you. So if you love me, you support me. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to get caught up. Make sure to check out all my videos. I know I got a little lint in my beard, y'all. I've been sleeping. I've been tired as a motherfucker. That's all. But after that, I don't got nothing but so, but mad love. But I don't got nothing but mad love to all my subscribers, and especially for the ones that been rocking with me for years. I, I do love y'all. You know, especially for all y'all new ones that's that's subscribing and checking me out. For all my for all the other YouTube reactors that may watch me, I got love for y'all. Cause, cause, cause y'all family, you know I do love y'all reaction videos from the real Carlito Frost, uh, uh, No Shack's Life, um, Lyric King, Sarge Barge, you know all y'all, you know I got mad love for all my YouTube reactors out there, and all my YouTubers out there too. But after that, peace, love. Take care of your friends. Take care of your families. Always be by their side. And love them unconditionally and no matter what. But after that, I'm going to see you on the next video. Please, y'all, take care of yourselves. Make sure to subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Leave comments. And make sure to get caught up on all my freestyles. All my funny videos. Make sure to get caught up with everything point blank, period. And I'm going to see you on the next one. And take care of yourselves, please. Make sure to leave a comment to, to, to let me know that all y'all are still alive because I'm not leaving none of my subscribers out of my life. I'm not leaving y'all. Not even one. <laughs> so I'm see you on the next one.